Okay, today is May 5th, 2012. Um, starting to lay out the, the path of the new wall. This is the same technique I used last time, except I used red cups last time. So uh, I, lay out the, I lay out the cups where I think they go and I eyeball them. And I can see that it's not exactly where I want it to be. So keep, keep moving the cups until I see them line up exactly how I want them to be. And then when, ah, that's what's happening to my cups. My lines keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> um, once I get the cups just perfect, then I'm going to mark some yellow lines on the rock and that's going to uh, show me where the the wall is going to go. After that, then I uh, have to drill some more holes here for the rebar, and and then this part over here, I'm going to have to remove all that soil Bobby, over there where the walls. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Yes, yes. Over there. <laughs> yes, thank you. Me ayudante, my helper. <laughs> okay, that's all for today. And my little helper's gone for the day. I've got my cups all lined up. Let's go take a look. We're gonna walk the walk the new wall line. So you can hear the motor in the background on charging the uh, battery in the excavator. So, that's where it's going to come, right through here. Now, <laughs> I've been dreaming about this for a long time. Let's see if I can get the excavator down, <laughs> down here. I'm probably going to get stuck. This is probably going to end badly, but uh, we'll give it a try. went pretty good. Um, I actually got everything done. Uh, a little disappointed I dinged up some of the trees. But uh, there's our new hole. And look, I got out <laughs> with the backhoe too. Uh, but boy, you know, that thing's a lot deeper than I, than I thought. It goes down several more feet below that. So I decided I'm just going to do a... a little foundation for the wall right there on top of the soil and uh, it's decent soil so I can do a footing there and, uh, and then we'll build on top of that so good day's work A12 2012 what a stunningly beautiful day up here on Keene Mountain uh, we're going to do something interesting today. We're going to drill some holes here for the rebar in the new work that we're doing this year. And the way we do that is with a, a hammer drill. This thing is just absolutely incredible. This is about a, a $1,500 drill that I can rent at the local hardware store for only $42 for four hours. So I've got four hours here to to drill a few holes. You can see here where in the past I've, I've drilled a few other holes. And uh, so we're just gonna continue on the line here that I, I drew last weekend. And we'll do a series of holes every two feet up until uh, we get to the other side of the rock. And then we'll be done for the day. This drill works really good, even in granite. Um, the trick to it is you don't put any pressure on it. You just let it do its thing. It's got a hammer in it as well as a drill, and it, it's a steel carbide tip, so it goes right through. It takes about five minutes to drill a hole a foot deep.
see there's that steel carbide tip. It's got the very super strong type of steel on the tip of it that allows it to go through granite. 